What's up guys? We are here today to do a unboxing and review of this. This is a uh, 10 inch 15 amp Harbor Freight benchtop table saw and we're going to need it for the box truck build. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this thing out of the box and take a look at some of the features and uh, stuff that it comes with. Alright, so there's kind of everything unpacked out on the table. Um, first, the accessories that it comes with that are kind of uh, standard stuff. It comes with these little rubber feet, which we will install later. It comes with this. This is for uh, pushing material through so you can get your hand chopped off, which is very important. It comes with two wrenches. This one's got double sides. I don't know what sizes these are, but they're probably standard sizes. And then uh, just kind of a long drop handle wrench. And then it comes with this. This is a, uh, a guide. If you need to make the same cut multiple times, you can lock it in and run the same, uh, the same cut again and again and again. Um, and then we have a few other pieces, just a, uh, a handle here that goes down on this main, uh, main uh, turn crank. So I'm going to turn this sideways and bring one of the cameras in here. Just the Phillips head screw and you just screw it in tight. And this is going to be your uh, one of your adjustment points. There we go. So that raises and lowers the blade. There's a styrofoam pieces in here that have to come out. There you guys, right here. Ah, there we go. So you can adjust the angle and slide this off. Keeps the motor from moving around. So that allows you to adjust the, uh, the blade angle right here. So here's the whole contraption all assembled. Uh, bring you guys in right here. Basically you have a set of guides right here that protect you uh, and from the sides. Then you have these, these are pawls, so when you're pushing material through uh, and you get a kickback, they're going to snap down and make sure it doesn't come back hit you in the face. Your forward controls are down here. You can raise and lower the whole assembly. I really like this. This is, we're going to use this a lot. This is a snap rail. And then there's also a miter piece right here that... Um, So conclusion for the review of this table saw. I'm sorry, first of all, that there wasn't nearly as much like action shots as there are normally in these reviews. Um, I had a bunch of trouble getting this set up. The one I originally bought was actually used and was missing a bunch of parts. So I had to last minute take it back to Harbor Freight, get a new one, which is this one. And then we spent all day working on the box truck and I didn't get a chance to refilm the unboxing. So we're kind of making this review out of pieces of different videos and I apologize for that. But to the good stuff, we use this thing all day. Um, I cut a few pieces of wood on it, mostly we're just cutting the styrofoam uh, that you'll see in the next box truck video. Uh, basically just uh, real, what's called rigid insulation. The blade that comes with it uh, is really nice. It cuts through everything. My biggest complaint is all the safety stuff. Like like the, this thing, once you tighten it up, it actually works pretty pretty well. And you can, uh, you can really adjust it and follow the line. And it's fairly accurate. You know, the blade lower, raise, angle change is all pretty accurate. But the uh, anti-kickback ribs and the uh, blade guide cover thing, they mount to this piece of steel that comes up from behind the blade. It's called like a rip bar or something. 
Problem is, it's really wonky. Like, mine was all over the place. I could never get it to line up perfectly straight with the blade. And so the cover was always off and it was bouncing around. And so, right or wrong, at the end of the day, I ended up taking all the safety stuff off of it and just using the push pawl to shove material through the through the blade, <clears throat> get it cut. And that was the best solution. Otherwise, this thing rips. Um, literally, it just goes through wood and uh, obviously styrofoam like butter. I'm very, very happy with it. Um, like I said, on sale, I think it was like 110 bucks after the coupon, uh, which is pretty good. And I'm gonna use it for quite a while. The base is plastic and pretty flimsy, um, but it is fairly straight. It's got holes in it, so eventually we're gonna mount it on some sort of table maybe that flips over and has the chop saw for the steel on the other side. I don't know, it does take up a lot of space volumetrically just to store it here in the garage. I got it stuffed in a corner. So that's kind of a bit of a downside, but it, it's really no bigger than any other table saw I've ever used, and so it really kind of evens out in the end. But for running pieces of uh, wood continuously get the same width, uh, it's really good. The only problem I found um, that really kind of chapped was the maximum width here is about 14 inches, which is really annoying because uh, studs are usually 16 inches on center, so if you're trying to cut out paneling that's 16 inches on center and you want to you know, put, cut a bunch of it, you can't use this stock table. You'd have to modify the table to extend it and build your own kind of um, uh, bar clamp. The other thing is this thing could probably be a little bit tighter. I should probably have to just play with it uh, to get it to make sure it doesn't doesn't move at all. These are these are little niggles. Uh, I don't think you can buy any sort of saw that has this kind of power and this kind of price range from DeWalt or Milwaukee or, or anything like that. So all in all, I'm very happy. I would give this one like uh, 3.8 out of 5, something like that, because the plastic stuff that comes with it is really hard to install and it doesn't work very well. Um, and it takes up a lot of space. And this bottom, I'd really like to see it maybe out of out of either a thicker plastic or more like a cast aluminum base or something. I don't know if that even exists on the market today just because of the way things are made to a price point. But, you know, underneath it's really nice. It's got a vacuum connector on the back of it so you can hook up your shop vac to it. Maybe make a little bit less of a mess, which is also, uh, you know, a good positive feature. You know, on the underside, the, um, got the blade obviously and uh, motor's right here and it's a nice big beefy motor and I like that and uh, all of these adjustment mechanisms are pretty beefy you can see the residue from the um, from the styrofoam is on everything despite my best efforts but like I said I'm pretty happy with it I'm definitely going to be keeping it it's not a tool I'm going to return if you like the video hit the like button if you like the channel please subscribe keep an eye we do tool reviews whenever I get the chance to buy new tools and make sure you check out the base box series uh, to watch us build a custom RV out of a box truck. I'm Max, this is Maxworks. Thank you for watching. Peace.